Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek. And the Revive video. This is the one that I took down a few weeks ago. I cut a new version of this. I've got the audio issues addressed. And I figured if I'm going to do a new version, start from scratch. So let's just take a look. It's going to be a quick video because it's really easy, guys. Um, if you have any issues with this, leave comments. But I think you'll, you'll find it pretty easy. First step is basically go to the website. Okay, We're going to download two files, Revive Injector and the installer. This is the website, and it's also where people run into usually their first and last issue because the first issue is insurmountable, unless you have a compiler. GitHub, where the files are located, is basically a programming repository, source code. All those little C++ files or whatever programming language that make up an executable reside here. So don't download the Revive Injector here or the Revive folders. Keep scrolling down. There's going to be three categories, Oculus Home Games, Standalone Games, and Steam Games. We're going to discuss two methods, the first two. The third is another method, but it's the least used of the three. So we'll focus on the, on the first two. The first, Oculus Home Games, by using the Revive Installer, is going to add all the Oculus games that you own to your Steam VR as a, as a folder called Revive. Okay. The games that are not compatible that need to be run standalone are going to use the injector files that we download. And I'll explain. So download those and you will get this one here. Let's get rid of that. We'll move this over. Right there. The bottom two files are the ones you download. So revive installer, self-executable, and the zip file revive injector. Unzip Revive Injector by right-clicking. And if you've got Windows 10, just use Extract All. If you don't have Windows 10, use something like 7-Zip, which is free. Okay, That will create the Revive Injector folder, which has four files in it. I've got the 32-bit injector deleted. So if you've got a 32-bit operating system, you're going to see that too. Okay, You put these files only in the executable root directory of the standalone game in question. Okay. There are methods to make this easier. I just want to talk about the fundamental principle method. If you use this, you can't really screw up. Okay. They've made it so that you don't have to copy these files over, but we're going to do it just to show you how it works in case you get an older version. All right. So you've got the two methods. The first is once you've done Revive Installer within Steam VR, you're going to see a folder for Vive, uh, for Vive to run Rift games called Revive. Okay. So I'm going to put on the headset and see down at the bottom there. You guys should see it. Yep. The bottom right, there's a folder called Revive. If you do not see that after using Revive Installer, Reboot your PC. It should be there when you boot back up. Clicking on that is going to show you the Oculus games that you own. Simply click on them to launch them, okay? With the trigger. So I'm picking Farlands. And it is loading. I'm going to move the controller here. So you can see Farlands. It's loading here in this one window. So that's one method, and I had this loading just before I copied this video. So of course, watch it now be where it crashes. Nope, there it goes. So you can see that's Farlands. All the graphical things that make the Vive and Rift unique come into play, right? So the Vive's ability to have that seemingly larger field of view, but at a cost of not having you can always details check on the perimeter. What like perimeter next. stuff is blurry if you're looking at the center, not the case on the Rift. So you play some games like The Climb, for example, it's not as vibrant looking as it is on the Rift because of that. But certainly even with the Vive, whatever you're looking at is going to be sharp, okay? So that's Farlands. We're not gonna bother playing it. You see that it works. So all the same stuff applies. You need an Xbox controller, right? If you've got those Oculus games. So here, let me just 
exit out of there and close that. Done. All right. The next style of game that we're going to play is the standalone game. So to do that, we're going to take a quick trip into Oculusville. <laughs> so there we go. Software. There we go. Let's pick Farlands, okay? For a standalone game, you simply take the executable. Remember I said copy the injector and those two directories, okay? To the root folder where the executable resides. That's where this file, the application file, usually the name of the game. Wherever that is, is where you copy those files. You simply take that, you drag and you drop it onto injector. And of course, I'm getting that message. <laughs> I have an older version here. It wasn't compatible with certain games. So we're going to pick a different game. Let's pick this one. This is a museum game. There we go. Drag and drop. Simple as that. Okay. <laughs> That's how you play the majority of Rift games on your Vive. You can see it's not rocket surgery. We killed two birds with seven stones. Easy mode. As always, guys, cheers. You have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If it wants to exit. So we've got to re-cheers that. <laughs>